Oh, nothing. Are you with this business? Yeah, I want to go this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi. <clears throat> My name's Melissa. I live up the alley. Uh huh. Is this a public alley right here? Um, indirectly, yeah, because it's been used. You know, they. Yeah. They connect. I'm just. The... I'm working with some social activism groups here mm -hmm. in town, and we're trying to talk about getting some of this rubbish taken out from around here. These buildings. Talk, uh huh. Have you talked to the city? Yep. They what we are, yeah, okay. yeah, but we um, would like them better secured in the meantime. I'm, so I'm, I'm, I agree because if you look and see what they can do there, um, yeah, we're just upset. Like we, I've just spent like 18 hours of my own personal time on like several different days looking for Briasia, and like there's other little children that live around this neighborhood, mm -hmm. and this looks like shit. This oh. is dangerous, and yeah. we want it taken care of immediately. The only part of this building I own is the part that is secured there. Mm-hmm. And I've seen your, oh. I've seen the front there, and it is secured, and yet that part looks very clean. But this is dangerous. Here's the, yeah, here's the problem. The problem with these uh, properties is they're all connected, you know? Mm-hmm. This one, um, the city might own it. I, because this 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 is a, I bought in order to have a sign on the right on right the I, and I've seen that up there I, yeah. well, I had to buy the building to have the sign right there's laws on the highways because um, I thought I could rent a space and put a sign up you can't do that you have to be doing business there so I bought it we threw our, our junk in they're gonna tear this down someday when they get right. the money this section here is should be it, it went back to Citizens First Bank, but Citizens First Bank didn't want to take it back, so it probably belongs to the city on back taxes. This section here... So this section belongs to the city right here? Correct. Okay. I'm going to guess it's the city. Yeah, I don't think... So it, this section... A bank, a bank wouldn't want this because they know the liability. Right. So, but this section belongs to the city. Correct. Okay. This section here... See over to where the power line goes in there. That section. It actually looks like it's occupied. Is that occupied it right could now? Could very well be occupied. He's trying to. The city would be tearing the likely tearing these down, mm -hmm. but he's wants a lot of money for it. Oh, okay. He only paid like twenty. So each one of these sections. So this section can right here is owned, owned by Paul Steinus. Paul Steinus. Okay. His name's on the front. This section from there down used to be the Night Spot Tavern. Oh, okay. So in, this big section all the way to right. the alley used yep. to be a tavern. Yep. And and it, is that closed now? Oh, it's, it's more than closed. I went to prison years ago. Oh, it was okay. closed when I, I we moved in here. See, and stuff like this. Yeah, this people, is. Yeah, people throw their stuff out. They do they the same thing. They do, the, they same do thing. the same thing to me. I live up on the opposite yeah. corner of the alley. See, the reason this isn't done like the front. It's yeah. Going to be done like the front, but they're going to tear this building down. But they do the same thing to me a so, couple blocks down, so, so I know exactly got, how you feel. When I got this, you know, they come down here and they, they obviously hit it with their vehicles and stuff, see? Me and, and my me and my family and my group, we actually did a couple of cleanups for the neighborhood so far. We're planning to keep doing that. Just mm -hmm. take carts back to businesses and pick things up off of the street. Mm -hmm. But well, this is a safety hazard, and the city is oh, well, um, responsible for maintaining mm -hmm. this. Yeah, you can see there's a whole path through here. Oh, yeah. And they, and they know it. They don't have any And money. There, you can see that this door is just they, wide open. And they I don't want to hear about they there. don't have any money oh, no, because I'm, I'm I just, just went to the I'm council just, meeting, and they had $26,000 in an old boat dock fund that they forgot about that they found when their budget came up short. These holes here... In behind here oh yeah i there. see that oh yeah I'm, definitely that building here's what I'm, i've got to deal with the city i started but i had to finish my other project first this so building, yeah this, this building whole... this back the back end from there over has been falling on my building Putting yeah i see roof. that and, they, and this and is so this is your garage right is, here yeah and so is that lot next door all the way on both of all the way around. so anyway i made a deal where i will tear that down for free just i'll tear it down I have a boom, so I'm tearing that down. So if you, you actually here, had to volunteer to do that for free to get the city to take care of this. Well, they weren't going to take care of it, you know. This I, is I, a clear safety problem, It's been, safety going, it's been going on though. for a long time. I mean, wouldn't yeah. you agree that this is a clear safety problem? Like, well, yeah, it's obvious. I mean, there's, we know people live right up here. I live up here. I have four small children. If one of my children 
got out and came down the alley, do you think that this would be well, it's, it's, a yeah. safe place oh, for them to be? Oh, of course not. Or maybe like that my neighbor's children. There's or... a lot of places in town, just like those. Yeah, there town. is. But and, anyway, and but why when, that, isn't... when that's tore down. See... But the code enforcement officers are over at like my house telling me that I'm not allowed to have my kids toys in the yard. Are they really? Yeah. And threatening me with $200 tickets, but they, they have this. Well, I, like I said, I'm taking it down. See where I strapped it back so it couldn't fall? Yeah, see, I see where uh, you I've did got, that. If you go back there, I got chains so it can't. So when I start taking it down, I don't want it to fall on my building and go through Yeah, you rug. have it reinforced. And that's what up the here that's what the dirt is out so front. that it doesn't fall. Oh yeah, I put a I we we had to tear take the steel off. We put the steel on our so roof. So this is your garage right here. Would it be okay if I just step onto the concrete no, there you, and, no, and just no 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 you don't understand that. you don't understand you can't see that top wall up there. It could fall down. It could fall down. It waves so in the breeze. This, That's why we strapped this it back. This whole entire structure is dangerous enough that you can't even go walk over there right now. You shouldn't, you know? No, it's not. You, because this is is just severely dangerous. Yeah, and, I'm, and I am taking down, but see, I have to go from the other end, because if that falls, it's liable to... I couldn't right, get. But I mean, you I couldn't get. Well, no. That's you right. shouldn't be responsible for taking I, that down. It doesn't matter. I volunteered. That's that makes it my problem. Right. Um, what well. happens is cable took their line down. CenturyLink, their line comes in the other direction. They won't. They haven't come back to take theirs down. When I take that down, I don't want to tear that line down. They're going to charge me a fortune. So what I'm doing, I've got it strapped back. I'm going to come back and take it piece by piece down from the other end. That's what that dirt's okay. for. When you go in behind here, mm -hmm. there's a stairway into a basement. When I start, gets, get that to a certain point, I'm dumping the fill to fill that in flat back there so it'll be safe. And, uh, and then I can drive through with my boom and take it down. It's not an easy project. Well, boy, we really appreciate you actually doing something about it. Well, I'm sitting here in a bad situation. And, and, but and I, so and is I, everybody else in the neighborhood that has to deal with this. Well, but they, yet, we our code enforcement officers yeah, are out running yeah, around ticketing the, people for grass and flat tires yeah. right well, now. Well, the people in the neighborhood don't have to deal with that. I'm the, actually the only one that has to because it's closed. There's no reason for them to come up here. The drug people do come up here, though. You know that. Uh, yeah, you and, see them walking around with their backpacks yeah, on. I know. I mean, yep, they break into all the houses around so, and we put my area out here, too. And they come and take them, but they've left us a mess here. But they come in. We have tons of pallets for our business, you know. And they, and they we have people take them for free all the time. We can the other stuff's going over there. So anyway, and those pallets stacked up there, those are those are money because they they buy them back and put them on the semi. They charge you seventy five dollars oh. for them, <laughs> and when you get enough of them, then they take them. You know? So anyway, um, but yeah, that's. And this is, is, there's a big uh, mess back in here too. Do you know what they're gonna do with this oh, part? Is there, is there there, oh yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of glass oh. and um, other debris back here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not that it's your responsibility it's at not, all. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is a public all. alleyway, right. so. Well, we started, we fixed the front of our building up because see the front looked like the back here, you know? We did the front. I noticed you we guys the, had done we, a lot of we work. We did the other side. I painted the other. That's why I bought my boom for. I didn't buy it to do stuff like this, but I'm doing it. Um, I, I painted that side. I've got to, because I put all new bolts in, uh, in the building and stuff. But anyway, we're going to do the back also. But I just had another project. Yeah, it sounds so. like you're working on a lot of projects to improve this local the, area the here. The only way you can hide that junk there that's, is to, is to um, put that brick like I have on the front. All the way down there see that's what we're going to do but i don't want to put that on till they tear this building down yeah i wouldn't either they'll probably it's, it's like throwing it. money away yeah you know and that way if the, the dust and all the debris it, it's already banged up you know it'll be okay so anyway, that's how, that's how i'm gonna to just walk down here and look at this little mess here and Do then i'll probably i'll probably just leave you alone well, <laughs> you might see me around again yeah, no, my I'm, name is melissa again you're melissa what's your last name gilbert gilbert okay yeah, yeah. No, and I'm you are dan keese dan keese no, we own okay. both lots here we bought them there were two houses there mm -hmm. and people one of them was empty uh been somebody had been fixing up and then she died after that um this was a this was a nasty looking building here too. We we covered it up on siding. It's an yeah, old. Yeah, I see it. it. Looks if you go nice. inside, it's an old building. It's it's safe, but it's not. It's just a crummy old building, and we just made it look nice. And on the other house, there were people in there doing drugs and all kinds of stuff. So we just tore the house down. 
Oh yeah, I mean that's just, yeah, it's the best thing. To there's do. a bunch of those around here. And did you know? Did you know that every one of these vacant and abandoned houses, they've done studies that show that each one of them contributes to approximately nine crimes each year. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, seven property crimes and two violent crimes. So mm -hmm. with abandoned houses that are just here. That seems like an awful lot of crime and an awful lot of money that we're spending to chase people around for those crimes, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just... It doesn't make any sense when we could just simply dispose of the problem yeah. or repair it. Well, they have to come up with the money somehow to do some of the stuff. Right, but I mean, we have, enough, get... we have enough money to chase around to deal with all the excess crime that's caused by this, but not to deal with the actual root problem. Well, if you look in the paper and watch the drug crime that goes on, it's it's they disturbing. They yes, they do. They've been letting them all people off. That, there's an uh, enormous amount of people in this town. But meth, I mean, they there that it's, is a devastating drug. I don't even know what all the answers are on that. It's devastating. It it really is. It tears people's families apart. It rips up the community, and it's and it's gross. Like there's falls are the same way. Like I just found a used drug syringe up on our corner up mm -hmm. there. You know, and there's just a bunch of kids that go through there. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's definitely a disturbing problem. Yep. It's good with the, and it's, the courts let them off constantly. We read it in paper. I mean, we know, yep. some, of them, we know some of the people that have been let off. I've read that. And it's like, uh, it's, it's crazy. You know, I have stories about this. And people are, that are renting the spaces are on drugs, you know. And they oh. want to, someone try and live there. And I'm, they got bad news because I go up there every morning. I'm, I'm, I'm the, the I'm, We've kicked out drug dealers and, well, and people that are trying to stay there, you know. I, I'm polite. I say, you know, I, I knock on the door. I see they're there that night because I go through at 530 in the morning. And because uh, I have a building next door I work out of. And uh, that's on the other end of town. And uh, I knock on the door and say, is anybody in there? And they get no answer, you know. And I know somebody's in there. I can tell by the locks done. And so I knock again, and then finally I say, okay, I'm going to call the police. All of a sudden, life, they come to life, you know? Oh, and they run right out. So they, well, they, oh, they holler because they're not ready to get up. So anyway, um, I tell find a place to stay. Go to the Victory Center. There's a place for women. I have both numbers in my phone. Good. And, and if you can't Good. stay at the Victory Center, some of them can't because they're trouble. Well, then... Mm -hmm. I'm locking you out. Find a place to go. You know, I, I, I don't want to throw them out that minute. You got 24 hours. Don't be ever staying here again. You know, and that's all I can do. You know, but you have to. But this is what. It but is. I mean, the city, the city is responsible for at least some of this, and they should be doing more to keep the people in this neighborhood safe instead of writing tickets about grass and well, flat what's tires. Happened to, what's happened to Clinton in all reality? Okay is Clinton has spiraled down mm -hmm. for the last 30 years. Population keeps dropping. You take out yeah. a handful of the industries here, there's only a handful to keep it, uh, it's, there's no money. So in the, all the, they took the schools out of the neighborhoods. There's no reason to live in some of the neighborhoods, so the neighborhoods are deteriorating. Um, people used to live somewhere for their kid to go to school and I understand part of the reason they did is cost money to run a school consolidate blah 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 every town does it and there's no money so in these neighborhoods where these houses are going down in value people just move out they can't find a buyer they yeah. can't find anything and it ends up going back to the city on taxes the city doesn't have the money to, to fix them up and doesn't want them they end up being tore down it costs them much they lose tax base and they tear them down they don't have enough money to tear them all down. It's happening too fast. This is part of it. My yeah. the big the fear here is see the reason I want to get that wall down, get that down. See, I'm tied into their building here. Okay? I see that. Yeah, when they're I, I mean they're I, definitely when I, when connected. I get, when I get that down, mm -hmm. I'm putting drywall on that side, then putting the, the siding on top. That way, a lot of these buildings go because of fires. And if there's a fire, I don't want to burn into my building. See. Well, that makes that's sense. What's yeah. So anyway, that's. I w I'll have a freestanding building when I get that down. That's why I'm doing that. It's for my benefit also, see? So, well, okay. thank you for coming out and you're talking just, you know to what me, you Dan. Are? You know what you are? You're out here trying to do a good do deed, okay? I had yes, shoulder sir. surgery years and years ago. I lived on Fifth Avenue for 40 years. And I and I couldn't do anything for six weeks. They make they lock you up. 
So I'm not doing nothing. I get kids boring. So I'm walking down the alleys back then. This was a lot of years ago. Sorry, 30 years ago, maybe longer. And I walked down the alleys. There's all these tires everywhere. And I called my counsel and said, you know, there's all these tires, you know. And they started picking up the tires out of the alley. There was a couple hundred tires in a few block area because it costs money to take in the landfill. People don't have money to go to the landfill. So they throw it out of so, the car. Yeah, so in other words, it's no different what you're doing. Just a, you're doing it on a bigger scale. So Yeah, just a little yeah. social activism. We just want to make sure that we're using our resources in the most responsible way possible. Well, to keep everybody safe. Yeah. Well, that... that you can accomplish that, you own the world. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, she's out we, here, dog. They're, you know, she's we gotta down, say down something. And her, uh, you know, they, they're on her case about stuff in the, even in her own yard, you know, kids. My, uh, my kids' toys. But and, this is down here. Yeah, so. you know, yeah, I know. Yeah, she's looking at these buildings. That. So. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm anyway, gonna go because I have no, a meeting to yep. get to. But yeah. get out of here, quit bothering us, will you? We right. I sure will. You have a good day. I'll probably see you around. Not, not usually because I'm only here because somebody got Just copious amounts of glass. I'm not even sure what is going on with that thing. There is a shopping cart. Big chunk of wood probably ripped off of one of these buildings. So I'm walking back out into the alley here. You can see there's a large uh, fenced in courtyard. It's grown in with weeds. It's quite a bit of garbage, but there's a real clear path that really leads back to a completely open door. Um, and I mean, again, this is really just right off the alley. Um, this place looks secured and occupied. You can see they have sticks in the window to prevent people from opening them. This is really the worst one here. So this is the alley. This is Dan's business here. There's the street. Here's this. And I mean, you can't see it well from here, but there are one, two, three open doorways. This is just a large courtyard filled with uh, just different debris, carpet, mattresses, toys, box spring, electronics, food, waste products. Looks like somebody threw some tree leaves in here. So that's what's there. And you can see just all of the old graffiti here on Dan's business. He's obviously been trying to clean it up as he can. All right, I gotta go. See you guys in a little bit.